Thank you for visiting our poster that we prepared for ADPD 2023 titled Deep Learning Methods for Enrichment of Alzheimer's Disease Clinical Trials Using MRI and PET Images. Clinical trials today face uh, two main challenges. The first one is the need of recruiting those participants that will benefit the most from the treatment. Uh, the truth is that many recruited participants will not experience cognitive decline during the observational period of the trial, and this will, this will vanish any statistical positive effect that the treatment may have. This problem can be solved by recruiting a large number of participants, but this will lead to the second challenge, which is the high cost of the clinical trial, that which will limit the number of compounds that can be tested and represents a bottleneck in the drug developing, developing pipeline. For this investigation and for this poster, we are presenting a deep learning framework uh, where we develop a tool to aim uh, clinical trial recruitment using PET and MR images. The framework is, is based on SIMIS deep, deep convolutional neural networks, and we train it with PET and MR images from the ADNI longitudinal dataset. We selected from this dataset, dataset two random samples of participants that stay stable for that long period of time, and another random set of participants that will have a future diagnosis of AD. Results from the CNNs, the training neural networks, with PET and MR images so that showed that for the PET images, the accuracy of the defined participants with a future diagnosis of AD was 78%. Using the MR, this diagnosis, this classification accuracy was of 69%. And if we combine the output of both CNNs, the accuracy for identifying participants with a future diagnosis of AD uh, increased to 84%. For comparison, we also uh, implemented a standard SAUVR score for the PET images, and this one reached an accuracy of 81%. We also tested the capability of the CNNs of, um, in general, these three approaches for observe, observing a, uh, a change in the clinical dementia rate sum of boxes within a period of 24 months. And the PET and the MR Siamese neural network show an, an increased change or a higher change in this uh, 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 cognitive score compared to the SSUVR. For control participants, this was consistent for the PET and the MR CNNs, but for the SAUVR, it was uh, detrimental. The SAUVR did not show any association with cognitive decline in control participants, only in the MCI participants. This suggested to us that the neural network was able to identify a consistent pattern of cognitive decline in, in the MR and the, in the, and the PET images, regardless of clinical diagnosis and recruitment time. We decided to mail this uh, pattern using the saliency maps from the trained CNNs and using the images during training. And, the, and the, for the PET images, the regions that show to be more associated with a future diagnosis of AD were the temporal cortices, the frontal cortices, and the precranial cortices. In a similar fashion, but a slightly different map, the MR show that the most significant regions for a future diagnosis of AD were the frontal cortices, the subcortical, subcortical regions, as well as the temporal cortices. The, the final aim of, of this development is to assist or aid uh, uh, clinical trials uh, for better recruitment of patients. And our current work is focused on validating this approach on, on larger and independent data sets, as well as adding additional markers that help and improve our, our uh, predictions accuracy. Also, our, our current work is focused on integrating this technology in our current in our current pipelines to serve these models on live clinical trials, not only for AD, for but also for other conditions. As conclusion, we show that the CNN uh, a neural network approach uh, show a consistent prediction of future diagnosis of AD uh, in participant in recruited participants, regardless of 
diagnosis, which suggests that it's a more reliable approach. And we are also, well, we're currently working on validating this approach and this technology on larger and independent data sets. Thank you for uh, listening to this presentation.